Cutting rope. Can you break the hangman's rope with a bullet? Yes, you can, but it's remarkably difficult. A multitude of conditions must be considered, such as the firearm used, the caliber of the bullet, how the rope is tied, how thick is the rope, and what's the range of the target. The two largest influences in this skilled shot is whether the rope is taut and still. You might see some movies providing some reality to this feat by adding weight to the rope. This gives a bullet a greater chance to make a cut. It also makes it easier to aim at a target that isn't swinging. Weight on the rope further increases the chance of the rope breaking, as a bullet is only likely to damage part of the rope, meaning the rest of it will have to break under tension. Experiments with this Hollywood trope have been successfully attempted by pro shooters like Jerry Michaluk, but for any reproducible success, the shots have to be fired from a rifle and at close range. What about shooting a rope with an arrow? Well, this is even more difficult. A broadhead arrow with a knife-like edge is about your only chance at doing this, but it's an even more difficult shot than using a gun. This has been shown again possible, but only by the smallest margin, as demonstrated by the team at Hollywood Weapons. Nice shot. Oh, that was close! There is a further theory that special arrowheads were developed for cutting rope, such as a crescent-shaped arrowhead. But most historians and archers agree these arrows were used for hunting birds, and not as a method of damaging the rigging on ships or cutting rope. It's extremely unlikely anything like shooting a hangman's noose was ever successfully attempted in history. Many 19th century hangings were designed to break a man's neck once they fell from the gallows, meaning to save a person's life, you'd have to cut the rope before the fall. Likely all such attempts would involve just shooting the hangman before the process took place. Oh, I believe this belongs to you, sir. Well, you know what they say. No noose is good noose. How about breaking chain? Chain can definitely be cut, but bullet velocity and weight is important, as is to whether or not the chain is hanging loose or pressed against something with some rigidity. A pistol is not likely to damage or cut chain, though average rifle rounds are more likely to start cutting thinner gauge chain at closer ranges, as demonstrated on Demolition Ranch. Ultimately, using pistols or even rifles as anti-material weapons or weapons designed to cut from any range is very exaggerated on film. There are, of course, anti-material rifles and shotguns that are designed to blow things apart and penetrate armor. 50 caliber rifles are great for hard targets and shotguns for blowing apart softer targets. The closer and the more rigid the target, the better. That's why shotguns are such great breaching tools. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thanks for hanging around. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.